Hello everyone, in this video I will be doing Advent of Code 2021 Day 2. So, my last video, I did Advent of Code Day 1, which um, you can see the stream somewhere over there, it's linked over there. Um, basically, Advent of Code is a challenge where you do two programming puzzles every day until Christmas in December. So, uh, I'm going to be doing this puzzle, you're going to see a time lapse of me solving it, and then I will explain it um, afterwards. All right, let's go. I solved part one. That's great. Um, now it's time for part two. Great, so I finished day two. That was quite satisfying. I guess it's time to explain the puzzle now. The reason I didn't explain it initially was because I was trying to get on the leaderboard, but obviously that's not likely. So. Let's just uh, go through the puzzle for day two. Should I read it all? I'll read it all. You need to figure out how to pilot this thing. It seems like the submarine can take a series of commands like forward one, down two, or up three. Um, and these do what they seem like they do. Forward x increases the horizontal position, um, and down x increases your depth, up x decreases your depth. Which is slightly unintuitive, but it's because you're in a submarine. Um, so basically you have a horizontal position and a depth, and these commands change those in a certain way described by these rules. So it gives an example and then it asks you, given this list of commands, if you start at 0, 0, so horizontal 0, depth 0, what is your final depth multiplied by your final horizontal position? And that is pretty simple. Um, this is really just testing if you know how to parse your input and maybe make it more efficient by writing a function. Um, although it doesn't make it more efficient, it just makes it easier to write perhaps. So I made a function that parses a line because I like to write functions. Uh, basically it takes in a line, it finds out what the type of command is. So if it's forward, then you want to increase your horizontal position. If it's down or up, then you want to adjust your depth. Um, it returns it as a tuple, which is just a pair of I guess integers that describe your change in horizontal position and depth. So after that, I just uh, initialize your position and depth to zero, zero, do this function a bunch of times, update your position and depth, and it's really, it's really simple. Um, so then for part two, you actually discover that this interpretation is incorrect. So it gives you three new rules. Down x increases your aim. They introduce a new value called aim, separate from position and depth. Aim, um, okay, here's what it does. Down x increases your aim by x units. Up x decreases your aim by x units. And forward x does two things. It increases your horizontal position by x units, and it increases your depth by your aim multiplied by x. Which is slightly convoluted. I'm sure there's a uh, intuitive way to interpret this, perhaps, but uh, I haven't discovered it yet. Maybe someone will choose to graph it on the subreddit, and we'll see then. Um, yeah, down and up mean the opposite of what you might expect. Down means going, wait, what? Down means positive, up means negative. So, you know, that's a catch that you have to note. I got caught by that trap. Um, and then it just gives your example. You still have to find your final position multiplied by your final depth. So that was uh, pretty simple, I guess. Um, you just have to maintain three values instead of two. In this function, instead of just parsing a line, we have to have our previous aim as well because we are multiplying the amount given in the line by that aim to figure out how much to change our depth by. So yeah, that's pretty simple. Day two, these puzzles will get harder as the month goes on, but today's was pretty simple in my opinion. Um, great way to learn programming. So I guess that's all for day two. I want to keep this video nice and short. If you want to see other days, um, if you're watching this perhaps after the second, or if you want to see previous days, my first day stream, uh, the playlist will be hopefully up there or in the description. Go check it out. So if you have any feedback, as always, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And I'll see you next time for day three. Thanks for watching.